I'm trying to um, just kind of, I would say, loosen my standards a little bit of just allowing myself to think about what are the most important things that I have to do and not hold myself accountable for everything. I'm not going to reveal the size of my inbox right now, but let me just say it would be a comfort to many of you out there. So um, I have kids who are seven and nine, so I'm getting, and they, they're not, they don't have a really rigorous school plan that's being run by their school. And so we're trying to manage that and knowing that um, giving, trying to give myself a little grace. And the other piece of that is knowing that by giving myself grace, that does not mean that I suddenly feel better about all of it. It means also allowing myself to feel bad about how some of it's going and know that that is, that's actually part of the process too. And for me, actually defining the end of the day has been something that I've struggled with. And so doing that, stopping the phone, stopping looking at emails, not answering slacks, you know, those boundaries have are blurred and you really need to define those. And even to the point where I miss my drive home from work because mm -hmm. that was my time to transition, right? So I have gone out and gone for a ride in the car or just walked around just so that I can make that transition from work to, to um, you know, home life. Children, family, yep. unpacking, <laughs> you know, all of those things, selling my yeah. other house, <laughs> you know, so there is a life beyond work. And that's the bottom line. We just have to remember that, you know, COVID will go away. Our family will still be there, but we need to make sure we're giving them the attention they need throughout this process of yeah. working at home. I do think being intentional about that separation and, and how we how we give our self care, how we give our families that care as well is so important. So yeah. And we and had stuff like this. spring Sorry. Yeah, it, it's no, I was just gonna say we had spring break planned for this week and we had planned to be away out of town for the week and Julie talked me into just taking a couple of days, which I was sort of nervous to do because I felt like I was just gonna come back to a bigger load of things to catch up on. But it was so good to just to disconnect and to remember that um, work goes on fully functionally, whether I'm there or not. And, and to just kind of, I think it, the fact that I wasn't trying to focus on both, th both things was just incredibly good for my, like my nervous system. I think I just felt so much, I didn't realize how exhausting it was to have that constant back and forth between these multiple, I guess, sort of demands or inputs, you know, around me. So I would say for people who can find a day and who it might feel good to take it, it's, it's, it was felt surprisingly good to do that. I like to think of myself more like Data than Deanna from Star Trek, The Next Generation. <laughs> and so to be able to acknowledge um, and give myself permission to not be okay, it's okay to not be okay, is a really important thing to remind myself of because I tend to you know, be stoic and analytical and um, I'm a human and I do have emotions and being able to acknowledge that and to not be okay and to have my family know that things will be okay but right now it's not it's not mm -hmm. good um has been therapeutic for me and i'm growing in that way so i'm happy happy to come out on the other end stronger and a well-rounded person i would say one other thing i know that um sometimes just the informal gatherings like happy hours with my work colleagues have actually been really great just to to sort of bring myself out of the little box that i'm in in my house um and I, what I'm working on now and that I feel like is helping me as an actual strategy is I'm trying to just get a little bit better with the routine. I have not, I haven't really established what a routine looks like at home and figuring out what I can do for myself a little bit before I start work and how I create the end of my day in some way before I dive in with my family and all of those things. So those are, those are a couple of things I'm trying at the moment. Mm -hmm.